Hello everyone out there. This is Udeshi Singh from Smartly. And today, I'm going to make a video series on Git basics. And to be honest, my only uh, motive to make this video is to like promote the open source culture and the coding environment, of course, in my college. Because right now, it's in a pretty easy state, but yeah, of course, together we can make it better by the combined efforts. But before I make a tutorial series on GitHub, I would like you to know what exactly is the difference between Git and GitHub. Of course, not exactly like GitHub desktop and Git bash, but here is the basic difference which you should know. Git is the distributed version control system. It is responsible for keeping track of changes to content, usually source code files, and it provides mechanism for sharing that content with others. For example, like, okay, hang on, maybe I will make it clear. But GitHub is a company that provides Git repository hosting. If your team has shared quality on GitHub, you could conceivably use GitHub without ever looking at its website. But the website provides a lot of value on top of the core of GitHub, GitHub repository, which should be noted. Now, there are some concepts which are Mostly used in Git mechanism, which are repositories, branches, remotes, committing, pushing, pulling, merging, rebasing, reverting, and changing. I'm really reading the science of people like this. And it's, uh, I will actually send you a link. Just have a link of this answer. This will be good. And concepts from GitHub is pull requests, issues, wikis, forking somebody else repositories, gist or gist. I don't know how to pronounce it yet. And of course, we're now suppose, to put it in an easier language, suppose you are a group of friends and you have, you have to make an, a new API, suppose, and you have to launch it, uh, launch it and you need a workplace. Of course, you could connect all the computers via LAN and that could be pretty tedious and worked, uh, workful, I guess, that's the way I believe. But anyways, what GitHub provides you is uh, open source development software oh no sorry platform open source development platform where you all could contribute little to little commit uh, your code sources and while the master branch the one who controls the master branch reviews the pull request and the commits and later on just acts up or just acts according whether they like the commit or not now what i will be teaching you in this particular GitHub tutorial is how to of course set up your ID and how to install the Git Bash. So here you go. I would be going in this. Suppose you have no ID, not yet registered to GitHub. I would go sign up. Of course, this is right here in twenty three, but I just recommend sign up. Suppose you want to use a username and account. Random user one two three one. Okay. Email address location at blah 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 dot com. Okay. Password. I would let you put your imagination here. Create an account, of course, and choose a plan. Well, if you want to host private repositories, go for seven dollars a month. And if you have unlimited repositories and public repositories for free. Go for it. And suppose you are and you are supposed to be an organization, then you could click this option. But I'm not going to click this one because I want to be recognized as a individual and independent contributor. So I could continue here and tailor your product experience. Well, this would help you totally new you for now. You could use this according to what experience level you actually are. If you're totally new to programming, pick this one. And if you have some more experience, what do you plan to use GitHub for? Development, of course. Project management, blah, 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 blah. And how you describe yourself, at least what you expect in it. Well, this is just a kind of, you know, review to better GitHub's platform. What I did, if you are, if you're really up to it, you can fill it. Otherwise, you could just skip this step, skip this step, of course. Now, suppose you are a new user here. Chica? Uh, sorry for skipping. Uh, putting a little bit here. 
and new row. Now I would be now that's how you set set up a new user account. Okay. So what should be my next step? Of course, once you have set up your new user account, I would recommend you to uh, go to Git Downloads and download this Git Bash. It is totally free and uh, handy. What should I say? A handy tool for you. Well, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want? Yes, I of course want it. Keep it. And since I already have this, I'm just going to tell you that yeah, yeah. So I would be I would recommend you to download it, and we will be doing most of the work here. And trust me, the command line is much, much, much better option to deal with stuff. Now, so what all we have achieved in this tutorial is we have made a new ID, we have made a new account. And we have almost set up this Git Bash. I will not walk you through it, the set installation of Git Bash because already, I already have it installed. What I would recommend you is to add the source, uh, add the Git Bash to your source, and I would tell you what what else to do from there. Now, suppose uh, I would be continuing using my ID from now on. So suppose this is my ID, okay? Now, what uh, one of the most important thing in your GitHub profile is making a new repository. So how would you make a new repository exactly? I would do a new repository and and there you go, repository name. I would just ignore these options. I would be saying hello world because it's kind of now the description which really is an optional stuff but you should be giving the description just beginner code blah 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 and of course public well in case you have a private setup you can go for private but since i have a public setup i'm going for public i would recommend you to initialize it with a readme what exactly is a readme is that readme will in this option will initialize a readme markdown file which will be um, uh, add a Git node, not required. Add a license, again, not required, not yet. I tell this you are making some, like, uh, putting up some copyrighted code of your own copyright, of course, and you want to add a license to it. Well, suppose you could go for a general public license. Well, there, of course, I would, you know, make a different video for all this license and stuff. I'm just going to say that I have no license at all and create a repository. And there you go, this is your repository, and it has hello world, which is been code, blah blah blah. And it all is stored over here in readme.markdown. I would be giving you a separate uh, section on markdown, how to edit all this, but you can see here, uh, readme.markdown is just this code. You can cancel it, and there you go, readme. So, this is basically how you make a repository. And if you wanted to, if you want to delete this repository, like you be like, what exactly is this doing here? You could just go in settings and go down here and delete this repository if you want to. Of course, you will have to please type the name, repository to confirm, go for hello world, and that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all you do. All right. So I would be briefing you about this whole stuff. Next time uh, in the next video. Till then, keep on watching, keep on going. And please like, share, and subscribe the video and do make a GitHub account today itself. Please. It's going to help your career. Trust me. Good night.